I'm Tracy Luthi, and I'm one of the founders of Bonafide and Emerging Artists. So about two years ago, I started Bonafide Artists as my own agency, representing the great talent that I want to rep across the board, but mostly with a commercial focus because that's my background. And then a few months ago, um, I partnered with another agency and we merged our companies together. And that's Albert at Emerging Artists. He was on the theatrical side. So now we are Bonafide and Emerging Artists. And we are full service for talent of all ages because we now have a kids division and um, you know franchise with all unions and working in all areas so tracy as far as um an all service agency what how many people does uh, an agency how many people would do you represent roughly so realistically i think we brought about 250 each from our respective agencies so that's what we're working with now in addition to about 50 new kids so still boutique, but definitely larger than before because we were merging two different rosters and that's still kind of transitioning. It's only been a couple of months, so we'll see where we net out, but that's about the ratio that I would always want to maintain, no matter how large we get is about one agent for every 200 to 250 talent because we're very hands-on, you know, we're kind of a concierge service for our talent or that's what we aim to be in the industry and you can't do that if you just have too many talent to represent so keeping that ratio that's probably what we're going to do so when you say hands-on can you talk a little bit about that and maybe explain the difference between a boutique agency and a, a, a larger agency maybe what the differences are sure i mean it kind of depends on the talent style in terms of which is right for them, um, you know, we're not as hands-on as a really good manager, meaning that we probably can't just like go to coffee once a week and chat about your career and your goals and all that stuff as much as we'd like to. Um, but, you know, we are more hands-on than I think most agencies out there, I'd like to say, in terms of we do still manage our talent. And if you're not working with a good manager, we're very much involved with not just procuring employment opportunities, which is what we are licensed to do. And that's our main goal. We also, there's so many steps that lead to that, like your marketing materials and who you're networking with and your training and, you know, things like that. And we're very much involved with those conversations with our talent as well. So that's what I mean by hands-on is not just about, oh, you have an audition. Oh, you book the job, but also who knows you, who loves you, what story are you telling with these headshots and this footage and all of that. So I love that. So what, uh, when you, uh, do you and, do you and uh, Albert sit down together when you're considering talent? And if so, what do you look for? How do you come to a decision? It's all case by case. You know, I know what Albert likes. He knows what I like. And sometimes there'll be talent where I'm like, I'm going to meet them for commercials. But I also think they could work with you for a theatrical, take a look, and then we'll decide yay or nay if we're going to meet them together or separately, or you meet them first. And if they're good, I'll jump on for the contract signing and get to know them or whatever it is. So there's no formula that fits everyone. It's always a case by case. But there's usually a conversation. Um, and, and, you know, it's always, that's a question I get a lot is what do you look for? And, you know, there's so many things that we look for, <laughs> but for me, I think that uh, the story that you're telling with your marketing materials is a big part of it, because that's the same story that I'm going to tell when I send out your marketing materials, but now I'm doing it under my agency name. So I like to know what your headshots look like, resume, footage. And if it's impressive and if it's the right fit for what you tell me are your goals, you know, so I want to play these kind of roles. I want to be on these kind of commercials or these kind of TV shows or whatever it is. And like, does all of that fit with what you're showing me? That's important. And, you know, obviously we're looking for good actors. I want to respond emotionally to what you're putting out there the same way I do when I just binge watch Netflix or whatever. I mean, that's the industry that we're in.